Hi, Richard Ian here. Richard, um, rather than lay out those steps on an email, I thought I'd just quickly create a video because that's always the, the quickest way for me to get my ideas across. Um, so I just wanted to show you how to do that. So I just want to check what the, the area that you need the DM for is. So I'm just going to just double check what does your email say. Okay, I'm going to drag this off to the side, and then I just want to go and identify those those tiles in in QGIS. So I'll just quickly go and add that layer, which is uh, I'm just trying to remember where that is. It's on my system here somewhere, and I think it's South Africa. It's a shape file, and it is Tobos. There we go. All right, so if I have a look at this. Where are my tile names? There we go, tile names. And it was 29, 29CB. So 29. Okay, so here we go, CB, 29, 29CB. So it's that one. CD, DA, DC. CD, DA. CD, DA. CDDA and DC, where's that one? DC. Okay, there we go. So let's see, there they are there. So let's just zoom to those. Right, so this is the area you need. So I just want to take this call. Okay, so what I want to do is just check what my background layers are here or, or where it is. I think you said Underberg, but let me just double check that so that when I download the, the online tiles, I can be in the right place. I'll just quickly label this so I can make sure I got the right tiles. Um, yeah, that looks alright. Okay, so let's see where is this. So I'm just going to turn on these background layers. I've got a topographical layer here somewhere. I like this one. Let's just turn those off. Okay, so there's the escarpment I'm guessing. Underberg, right on Underberg there. Okay. All right. So this whole this entire area might be covered by one tile. So it's a 30 meter SRTM, which is that shuttle shuttle radar topography model or so, something like that. And so I need to go and find that. So let me just show you where that is, uh, where the, what the web link to that is. So I've kept a little text file that uh, that will just reminds me what the links are. So anyway, so yeah, this uh, shuttle radar ah mission shuttle radar topography mission. So here is, um, that's just a little explanation of what that mission is about. But the actual download link is this download link here. And I will send this to you in an email. So you'll, you'll have these links in the email I send you. But you, do, you are required to register at this earthdata.nasa.gov site. And then once you have an account, when you download, you might get asked to log in. But I've already logged in and uh, hopefully I'm remembered. Hopefully my machine's remembered. So let me just click on this link and then go to that site. So it's this one here. Okay, that's opening in another window here. Let's go there. Okay, here it is here. So each of these little tiles is a is has the 30 meter uh, SRTMs. So we are up this way somewhere. So let's let's you to Pima. Oh no, down here. So let's just double check. You might have a, a much better idea. If I just check the shape, if we were down where is Underberg again? Now have I panned off it now? I might have just panned off it. Just double check where those those areas are. It was 29 DC DC this one these ones here. Okay, there's Underberg, yes. Okay, so if I have a look let's just scroll out a little bit just color those up so I can see. So there's Lesotho. It's it's basically this little portion here. So let's see if that tile is covered. This whole section here. So this entire tile will more than cover your area. So I'm going to click on that, and then it's going to let me download that. So I just need to download this onto my computer, and it shouldn't take too long. Ah, there we go. I just need to log in again. All right. So I've logged in. I can just download that file. It's going to download a zipped file onto your system. 
which you'll then need to extract and then add in QGIS. Right, so that's downloaded and your file will look like this. So it's a zipped file, so I'm going to extract it. I'll extract it to the same download folder, then I'll just, um, just add it to show you what it looks like. So extract all, and I'm going to extract it to there. So it should extract to a folder. And that's what it looks like. It's a little um, .hgt file. So if you're in QGIS and you want to add that .hgt file, you'll just need to add a raster. So you go add raster. Just navigate to that folder. The down in my case, it's the download folder. Your folder could be any folder that you download or moved it to. So it's this one, and that's .hgt. So let's open that. Add and close. And there we go. So let's just stick this on top make this slightly transparent so I can see the data underneath it. Let's just make this 50 so I can see through it. There we go. Okay, so there we go. So we have the 30 meter grid or DEM for that entire area which more than covers your area if uh, your portion of the area you're looking at is Underberg. Then obviously if you're looking for, for stuff down here, you'll need to go and download the, the corresponding tile for that. So these 30 meter DEMs, let's just zoom in a bit, I'm turn that off, turn that off, and just show you what that 30 meter means. Oh, I can't even see there. I need to go and find some, there we go, some 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 more contrasting images, uh, cells at least. So it's, they are 30 meters by 30 meters. And then each of these is its own elevation file. There we go. Okay, so there you go. And then once you've got that up and up and running, um, you can extract data. So if you wanted to go ahead, uh, you can use the extraction, uh, extract by extent. You can uh, select an area on the canvas. And then you just say, okay, I just want to see that and I'm just going to create a temporary file, run that, close. There we go, so now we've just got that area that's selected. And then you can do all your other stuff if you want to. So from here you can run your um, slope analysis, you can run, you can do a hillshade, slope, you can do aspect, you can also do your hydrological modeling, all that kind of stuff. So, so hopefully uh, with me showing you where that 30 meter SRTM is, you'll be able to extract some stuff and yeah, find it useful for your work that you're doing. The other thing that I can show you maybe is just if you want to create the contours, you can also use that layer to create contours. So, so the default is 10, but you can make it one meter. Bear in mind that the smaller the contour interval, the bigger the file will be. So let's just leave that as 10 and then run it to create a temporary file and show you what that might look like. So if you did want to extract the contours to, to overlay on your data, you could uh, do this. And that's finished, so I can close that down. And it would look something like that. Okay, so there's my, according to the 30 meter SRTM that I've downloaded, and the contours that I've then extracted, that's what it would look like. I could then do all sorts of stuff now. Um, maybe color this up, graduated. Let's color it up by the elevation file. And what are the different options here? Let's just go spectral, see what that looks like. Classify it, maybe make, make, make these 20 classes. So now my lower levels are red, my high levels are bluish. Okay, so you can see this is a valley, that's a ridge, etc. But then that's, uh, I mean, you'll, you'll, be, you'll be doing your own sort of queries with the data, but that's just where it is. So if you, if you, if you manage to get on with that, um, I'll be happy to to um, hear about it. Otherwise, uh, give me a shout if you have any issues. Cheers.